Yo, what's going on, family? As most of you already know, we are now sponsored by Cinch Gaming Controllers. If you don't know what they are, uh, Cinch makes custom gaming controllers uh, with different options to help you improve your gameplay in any of the games that you play. First off, I do want to thank everybody and all the support. Uh, this opportunity would not have been possible without our love and support that we get on all the channels all around. So thank y'all for that. Uh, the homies at Cinch did send me a controller. So let's open it up, see what we got. So first thing we do notice after I take it out is that the controller feels really good. Um, putting it in my hands and like clicking all the buttons, everything feels nice, everything feels smooth. Uh, I do have the digital triggers. So all my triggers and my bumpers are like mouse clicks. So that's definitely gonna help, especially if uh, you play first person shooters. Other than the digital triggers, another option that I chose to get uh, is removable thumbsticks. Uh, they pop in and out like the, very easily when you pop them in, they're secure. Uh, the only reason I decided to get this is because I'm a fan of concave thumbsticks. I don't like the, th uh, the dome thumbsticks and I don't like the regular PlayStation thumbsticks. So I chose to get removable thumbsticks so I could change the height and also so I could put concave thumbsticks on. If you don't know much about Cinch controllers, uh, one of the big options is the buttons in the back. So they don't have paddles, they have buttons that fit right on the side, like right where you hold your controller. Uh, usually a lot of people only get the top two, but playing Call of Duty, I use all four buttons. So I prefer four buttons on the back of mine. The buttons in the back are actually very, very nice. Uh, they feel very good. They're not cheap. You can tell when you press them, they have a nice click to them. Uh, when I have my controller plugged in, these uh, they're actually blue LED lights that's inside the button. So that looks very nice too. The buttons fit like, very good when you're holding your hand. The only thing that I did have to get used to is that they are kind of close together, uh, the top and the bottom one. So I just had to hold my controller just a little bit different. But once I got used to it, there was not a problem at all. I actually love using all four buttons on this controller. So other than the buttons on the back of the controller, uh, this all right here is cinch grip. Uh, it's basically just a grip to keep my hands in place while I'm playing the game. Like if my hands are getting sweaty or anything like that, I don't have to worry about my hands sliding all around the controller. They stay in place right where I need them every time. Overall, I love this controller. It feels good. It feels very nice. Uh, I don't have the, the rumbles in mind, so my controller is very, very light. So if you don't like to have a heavy controller, I definitely recommend taking them out because the controller feels very good. I do like this controller a lot. Like uh, From day one using it, I felt like I was gliding around the map. I felt like I couldn't miss a shot. It just felt good in my hands. Like it was not a hard adjustment to get used to at all. If you are shopping around and looking for a controller, you need a new controller, I definitely recommend going over to the Cinch website. I'll put it in the description, uh, checking out their controllers. They're very affordable custom controllers. And you can also use code HitSquad at checkout to get a discount on your order. As a review, uh, I did attach a gameplay to this video. It's a 32 kill game that I had, but I also had a hand cam on so you could see me using a controller. I uh, hope y'all enjoy it. Please check it out, like, comment, if you haven't already, please sub to the channel. Uh, a link in the description will be for my Twitch channel and also for the Singe Gaming website. So come check me out live and also check out the controllers. Much love. Go ahead. Well, there's a dude right here in front of me. Hold on, there's a guy over here. I was gonna say, Rico, I can't see that dude that's shooting at you. I'm up here. Oh, this could be it, man. Load out this early. <laughs> Yeah, dude, he fucking daddy. I didn't daddy push you. Kind of. He's shooting at me. Down one. 
Oh, uh, wait. What are we playing? Uh, oh, shit. Alright. I thought we still in duos. Jay, get his ass. <laughs> he said, Jay, get his ass. <laughs> nah, Jay, not today, homie. Oh, shit, I'm glad I didn't blow up. I'd have been sick. Hold on. Now nah, he hacking, bro. You got another UAV? Oh, God. win that game. Are they up in the building? They're down inside the building. I'm sick. Oh, I forgot this is trios. Hurry up and drop him. Where are you? Oh, never mind. He's losing our business. Where's the other one at?
It's a guy in this building, bro. I just don't know where. Got him. Oh, it's mortar. It's only two. Are they in a root in a window upstairs? Yeah, yeah. He's probably resin them. Fuck you. There's three.
I should have took that car and left a long time ago. I should have took that car and left a long time ago. There's so many ghosted people right there. GG's.